आज हम एक ऐसे कॉम्प्लेक्स और सेंसिटिव इशू पे बातचीत करेंगे डॉक्टर अजय कुमार साहब के साथ जो चेयरमैन फॉक्स पेट्रोलियम हैं हमारे चैनल पे कई बार आ चुके हैं लेकिन इस बार एक लंबे वक्फे के बाद आए हैं हम इनसे जानना चाहेंगे बहुत ही जो इम्पॉर्टेंट इश्यूज हैं ऑयल मार्केट के साथ जुड़े हुए यूक्रेन रशिया वॉर के क्या इम्पैक्ट हैं हमास की टेररिज्म के नतीजा में जो हमास इसराइल की जंग छिड़ चुकी है इसके क्या इम्पैक्ट हैं मैं स्वागत करता हूं डॉक्टर अजय कुमार जी का दिल्ली से डॉक्टर साहब बहुत बहुत स्वागत आपका थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सर सर भारत तो दुनिया की चौथी बड़ी इकोनॉमी के तौर पर इमर्ज हो चुका है तीसरी बड़ी इकोनॉमी के रास्ते पे है और आप जैसे बिजनेसमैन जो हैं उनका बड़ा योगदान है ये जो तेल मार्केट है इसके हवाले से और भारत की इकोनॉमी के हवाले से हम आपसे कुछ इन लेना चाहते हैं तो पहले तो ये बताइए कि हमें तो बड़ी अच्छी खबरें मिल रही हैं कि भारत की इकॉनमी बहुत उमदा जा रही है आपका क्या कहना है सर वी मेंटेन एन ऑप्टिमिस्टिक आउटलुक फॉर इंडियन इकोनॉमी इन अपकमिंग फिजिकल ईयर्स एंटीसिपेटिंग अ ग्रोथ ट्रेजेक्ट्री बिटवीन 6.5 टू 6.8 फॉर द ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर इन आर बेस लाइन सिन इट इज अ बेस लाइन सर लुकिंग अहेड वी प्रोजेक्ट एन एवरेज ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ यू नो 7.95 परसेंट इन सब्सिक्वेंट फिजिकल पीरियड दीज प्रोजेक्शन आर अलाइंड विद अ पॉजिटिव टर्न इन द ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी रिफ्लेक्टिंग आर कॉन्फिडेंस इन इंडियन इकोनॉमिक रिजिलियंस एंड पोटेंशियल फॉर sustained development it means that prime minister is working uh, truly very hard and uh, uh, the industrialist especially i am thankful to the industrialist uh, from indian diaspora uh, those are 500 fortune companies they are working very very good and uh, i think a couple uh, 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 i think 20 25 days ago we became a uh, 4 trillion dollar economy so nobody has uh, uh, you know uh, given a headlines to this uh in this scenario uh, i was expecting it to happen 20, uh, 5 trillion dollar economy by 2027 but it is not going to be late i think it is going to be in 2026 itself uh, 24 24 25 itself uh, not 26 big, uh, the end of 25 so it is uh, quite a uh, impressive thing and the prime minister who has taken a loan up to 118 lakh crore rupees that means he will be able to pay uh, entire balance see the guts and glory of the prime minister this is the prime minister modi uh, you know who uh, everybody says uh, uh, he has taken the loan uh, rest of the prime minister has not taken equivalent double 200% more everybody i also feared uh, when he took the 118 lakh crore rupees of loan but he ma- managed it well somebody has to learn the economy from him he is not an economic student but he is the best of the best because he has the past experience serving in, as a chief minister he knows what is revenue and uh, money attracts money he knows it that is why he he took 118 lakh crore rupees which is not good in a uh, real manner but it has yield uh, stock exchange cost 70000 marks benchmark your ex- stock exchange is just number 2 into the world not the chinese stock exchange so it is bigger bigger one very soon it will reflect uh, indian global scenario so uh, hopefully i'm very thankful to the prime minister and the government those who are working and the staff especially the bureaucrats uh, uh, every time we feel bureaucrats are like uh, something which is uh, not to intend to the people they are working for the government but now i reveal today that the bureaucracy is working a still bit for the people of india for the uh, not for the politicians only they are doing good they are truly doing good very impressive doctor when you say that prime minister is doing uh wonderfully in terms of improving economy of india in terms of taking india's economy to next level to iska matlab ye hai ki wo baat sach hai kyunki aap jaise businessman to bahut critical hote hain aur prime minister ki jo approach hai prime minister narendra modi ji ki bharat ko aage leke jaane mein wo kamyab ho rahi hai isliye humne dekha ki jis tarah hindi heartland states ke andar बीजेपी उनकी पार्टी कामयाब हुई आ, उसके बाद एक सिग्नल मिला आ, हमें जो हम भारत से बाहर रहते हैं कि अगली सरकार भी मोदी सरकार होगी तो हाउ वुड इट इम्पैक्ट द फ्यूचर ऑफ इंडिया एट वर्ल्ड स्टेज एज वी कैन एंटिसपेट नेक्स्ट गवर्नमेंट बाय पीएम मोदी एज बाब 
सर हिंदी हार्टलैंड के हार की वजह और जीत की वजह प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी भी नहीं प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी नहीं प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी इलेक्ट्रल्स को अट्रैक्ट करते हैं पॉलिसीज बताते हैं राहुल गांधी भी बताते हैं ऐसा नहीं है राहुल गांधी उस आप उस पेरिफेरल में मत देखिए दूसरों की तरह नहीं देखना चाहिए वी शुड नॉट सी इट्स डिफरेंट बट दोज हु आर फॉलोइंग इन इंडिया बिकॉज सेवेंटी नाइन परसेंट पॉपुलेशन इज हिंदू सो समी इज सी लेट मी कोच यू वन स्मॉल एग्जाम्पल द इलेक्शन ऑब्जर्वर इन छत्तीसगढ़ हैपन्स टू माई ब्रदर and when i asked him what is happening the situation ground situation i'll not take his name he said can congress win rahul gandhi win when his candidate is abusing goddess durga into the public where even if it is bankrupt indians they'll not go against uh, their uh, deity or you can say ma durga ke khilaf bolne par aap election haroge aap they see they, they are tremendous they, 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 rahul gandhi's work was tremendous it is not that uh, i should not compare i am not uh, uh, you know huli buli guy who can speak uh, only for the prime minister prime minister work hard but uh, rahul gandhi was also working very good but the, their people was not uh, listening the mood of india the people were uh, giving a very bad sentiment against hindu very bad and that i can't uh, speak here even see uh, tahir gora sir you are un, uh, you know what i say uh, you are a muslim then to you will not listen what kind of word has been spoken by uh, by a candidate of congress into the public meeting so this is the reason they are uh, making him big prime minister modi is working hard but that hard work is not other side is working very bad and that is is the winability factor see i hardly comment on the politics but today i can't stop myself to speak on the politics because the indian uh, you know in india is not that where you can uh, hit uh, uh, this is not uh, uh, aurangzeb time or moguls time where you can speak against the hindus and hindus will uh, uh, go for some subsidies modi is giving the subsidies also modi is protecting the hindus also i'm not saying the anti muslim thing it is not anti muslim nobody has right to say anything against islam similar the rights hindus has and that has given him a good uh, uh, conjunction point to win more than the past seat more than this is how one has to understand the other side also that uh, you know a uh, uh, very good opportunity was lost by uh, uh, rahul gandhi rahul gandhi is an educated man harvard guy a young man uh, why we don't need a young man we need him we need him but not at the cost of abusing our sentiments that was the biggest thing see in business i count profit i don't see religion have i have you heard or seen me any time uh, abusing dollar or dirham or dinar or australian dollar or singapore dollar any kind of money every money is as pure as it is so every religion is as pure as, as hinduism every religion so this has to be understood by other politicians other side that she can't abuse hindus and, and the election observer was none other than it was a inside story i said really they said it no they said it on the hell they should not have said it how dare they can say and 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 i think for the people like me never speak about any kind of politics today after 9 years i am being forced to speak that congress people should not uh, allow See, Rahul Gandhi, the next uh, after Mahatma Gandhi, nobody nobody has ever. He has got a caliber, but religion makes a pave, a way. Hindus are sentimentally united, and Modi has made it a magic to play into the politics. They have to learn it. They have to learn it. They have to admire it also. There should be a situation when the Muslims should not be appeased, Hindus should not be thrashed. There should be equilibrium. equilibrium will give congress instant result congress is a good party congress is the mother of democracy in india why i'll say that there, uh, uh, you can uh, think india uh, without congress maybe modi ji can say kya bolte hai wo that that line uh, congress mukbad that that is not interesting thing it is a political thing 
that is not interesting thing and beneficial but modi ji won because he is, was delivering on the economic front rahul gandhi was econ uh, delivering on the economic but modi ji was sentimentally united he was not hurting muslims but he was uniting hindu <laughs> see the game very simple game and these guys the they don't understand their political leader the top most rahul gandhi and the harvard is so much educated he uh, uh, you know travel from kanyakumari to kashmir that is incredible that is too much fantastic but see how their own people sabotage his labor we always need an opposition there is nothing if there is no opposition india is not going to be a good country india is not going to be a good country there should be a dissent but there should be a dissent with 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 how much with a respectable dissent the people those who are speaking chatisgarh they are speaking it hard ma durga ko gali dena wo bhi election ke sto stage se nahi this is not that is why that is why politically sab ne sab kuch dena hai what the freebies they are counting what modi ji can offer same thing rahul gandhi can offer better than them because he is a highly educated he is calibered man but religious threat is a threat everywhere nowadays and it has been incited since last uh, uh, i think 12 years more higher more higher more higher and uh, it is going to kill uh, uh, democracy one should not uh, hindus have no right to speak against islam there is no single way to speak any uh, any religion not islam even the sikhs and anyone but having said that the same point hindus to be respected why the secularism come for the hindus in every chapter i don't like it uh, personally these all are not the chairmen's or chairman of foxlip view this is my personal opinion and uh, you cannot deny for the viewers you cannot deny the mother of democracy started with the congress and bjp is ruling nowadays but they are ruling best they are safeguarding the interest of other side also they are not saying uh, muslim should not stay but they are saying hindu should be preferred also preferred also there is a word also in the mm -hmm. same india where the indians are 79% how can you deny the fact that uh, hindus are 79% and that has to learn the congress leadership that while you are appeasing the muslim you cannot deny the fact that 79% is hindus and that that is the mistake has been done in chatisgarh so i was also analyzing how they have won it into the cow belt or cow dung belt uh, you know better and uh, tahir gora sir will explain you after my <laughs> say what is cow dung belt and cow belt so these are the belts which makes a uh, prime minister or breaks the prime minister i really appreciate your candid views on this very complex and sensitive issues dr ajay ji main dil ki baat aap se karta hu i always say on my tv i am a hindu born in muslim faith ye mera bahut clear kehna hai kyunki muslim is a faith club hindu is my civilization and that's why uh, i consider prime minister narendra modi very wise man and you said very wisely that prime minister modi is uh, uniting hindus as well as he he is not against any other religion i have a strong conviction when it comes uh, understanding prime minister narendra modi he is a great man honestly i mean it's, uh, as a journalist when i um, said very clearly he is a great man uh, i'll get so much uh, backfire but uh, uh, i don't care uh, honestly because he loves Italy. everybody all faiths <laughs> all religions equally and uh, uh, um, i'm honored that i'm also a founder and director of hindu forum of canada uh, because that is the that is the spirit given by prime minister modi and the spirit traveled from india to, to all across canada thank you very much for sharing your candid view sir coming back to economy and especially coming back to your own oil market industry what is the current impact of russia ukraine war on oil market after almost 2 years russia and ukraine war has had a significant impact on the oil market the oil price the oil price is uh, fluctuated sharply twice after uh, this russian invasion uh, 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 of ukraine uh, 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 on february 24 2022 in march 
2022 uh, from from uh, March to 2020. Brent crude price also gone to 140 barrel it once, one time. Supply chains has been disrupted. The war disrupted global supply chains. It is not one sided. The Europeans suffos, suffocated at the time. Energy security, the crisis elevate energy security at the time. You know, uh, this has caused a lot of damage to capital market. Actually, uh, uh, when you have less money, uh, uh, you have money and then you have to buy somewhere uh, extraordinary thing at the extraordinary cost, then it um, uh, breaks your economy. So European economy is uh, at a brink of sabotage. And that is why Germany is fighting. That is why France is against this war. And that is why many countries are uh, trying to uh, imbalance their economy. And uh, they're, tr they're trying to manage something. The war also affected the oil and gas industry due to economic sanctions and foreign policy directives issued by Western countries like sanctions. Almost 6,000 sanctions has been placed on, uh, uh, you know, uh, Russia. That is also, again, not good. They wanted to, uh, you know, uh, on the name, in the name of sanctions, they wanted to close this war as immediate as possible. But uh, Vladimir Putin is a man from intel. He is not a police wala or, uh, 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 you know, sheriff or uh, in your country, what you call. He's not a policeman. He's never been a policeman. So nobody should think uh, uh, about this chapter that he will surrender so easily. He knew how to sustain the uh, local problem. So he printed the money highly, highly. On the other front, he has opened the market where uh, he has got the Indian support for that. He has thanked also. The problem came, uh, I want to address that problem. When Indian uh, companies, they purchased many more oil, uh, more oil, uh, like uh, if we purchase 10% uh, from Russia in normal way, we have purchased 100%. Now the bills are pending in Europe. The money will not come. The sanctions will come against them in the future. And their intel department, because West sees their problem as a problem. Our problem is not a problem for them. So what they'll do, they'll make an embargo. Later on, these companies will get trouble in the ratings. These companies will get some uh, uh, trouble in uh, wild transjec transjection and the India government will see when it will, the, the government of India will need more, the Western hub, they'll sigh off. In the UN or anywhere, whenever they need it. So they'll play it wisely. They'll ask them to reutilize the money into their same country. And this is what the, already they have started uh, threatening to the Indian businessmen and this is not good because they have purchased and they have sold it to European countries, not to India. So this is the major problem. They have to address this situation very sincerely that they should not return in India. And what uh, somebody said in uh, the political, it is not 1962 India. It is truly different India. It is truly. It has got substantial food supply. If Prime Minister can say 82 crore, 8, 820 million people he can feed per year. And that too, almost uh, it is going to complete five years. Free, of course, that is the power of India. Nobody can threaten now, not the UN. The UN has to change the definition of UNSC. And this prime minister is not uh, uh, the prime minister of the past. It will not go for the capital market because the capital, he has got it. The bench of business marks he has created. He will create more. He has to be liberal on that uh, section. I'll not talk about that section. But the economy is not going bad. Only thing is there will be turbulence for uh, these oil prices. The companies will be due to Russia war because supporting Russia is a huge crime for them, for the West, because they have put 6,000 sanctions. And Russian government is, uh, uh, you know, uh, very good, very good. They were very good in supply. They have not said... Uh, uh, they will not supply. Uh, the entire government was conducive at that moment. Russian uh, supply and American purchaser or European buyer. Every bit of oil was purchased by Europeans. And now they are threatening India for all these entire situation. This is not good. This is not done. You have to understand. They have saved them. Otherwise, the economy could have done. You know, Russia, leave or not leave, but Europe would have gone flat. So this, these are the situations of the Russian oil market impact. And uh, the best scenario you can understand is 
uh, the the threat will come to india in uh, uh, after this election after this election best threat will come after the if the government changes the threat will double if the government doesn't changes and most likely it is not going to change i think so ji dekhiye bahut aapne ahem baat ki यूक्रेन रशिया की जो वार है उससे सबसे ज़्यादा तो सप्लाई लाइन एनर्जी की गैस की इफ़ेक्ट हुई यूरोप के लिए क्योंकि यूरोप को यूक्रेन का साथ देना था अमेरिका का साथ देना था मगर यूरोप को शदीद ज़रूरत थी और है रशियन एनर्जी की एनर्शियन गैस की तो डॉक्टर साहब क्या सिचुएशन है ग्राउंडस पे क्या अभी भी यूरोप इनडायरेक्टली रशियन गैस एनर्जी को बाय कर रहा है या इवन डायरेक्टली बाय कर रहा है सो व्हाट इज इन दैट फ्रंट प्लेस सर अभी भी द सिचुएशन इज स्टिल नॉट नॉर्मल एंड स्टिल इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी नॉर्मल बिकॉज दे डोंट हैव इंपोर्ट टर्मिनल्स फ्रॉम अमेरिका लेट्स से फॉर एग्जांपल व्हेन अमेरिका अनाउंस वंस व्हेन पीपल वेर हैप्पी वेरी हैप्पी दैट अमेरिका विल गिव गैस फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट टू इंडिया वंस देयर वाज से zero price so uh, if the oil market people they understand then 250 nautical miles gas gas if gas ship uh, goes to india 250 nautical miles 50 cents so coming to india it will charge almost 9 dollars 9 dollars in the shipping cost so somebody says it is free of cost it is not then there is a insurance then there is a loading charges and discharge charge because liquidation is done so it goes to 14 even if america gives it free of cost then to 14 14 dollars is a charge for the indians that is why the, the deal was in the back backyard so nobody was talking uh, right now why america gave you free of uh, free gas to india why india is not taking this was the scene because the traveling cost of uh, uh, entire gas is uh, not good for india it is not beneficial for india the similar is the americans if us gives a gas that is where is the import terminals where this is a cryogenic gas it cannot be imported like other lpg situations it is not lpg but you can uh, easily transport by any pipe even the plastic pipe so this is cryogenic gas 200000 empty of lng is equals to 100 hiroshima nagasaki bomb so nobody will try to uh, get unwarranted ship near their coast towns so this is the situation america says something america has enough gases which can control but the uh, problem is there is no regular infrastructure into the unanimous board like uh, import terminals or there is not such technology that it should uh, cost us less so uh, you know the european cannot have a good supply from america the situation again becomes critical for uh, uh, european to buy from the indian origin and slow supply there is a gas pipeline uh norway to london that baltic pipeline uh, which uh, you must be knowing and there was a seasoned uh, a something failure a technical failure also so these things happens and then uh, the gas prices goes up they have first thing is uh, uh, europe needs five years plan a gas grid plan they don't have that much they were so uh, intelligent they were so aggravated but they didn't made a plan alternate of russia so gazprom must have a monopoly gazprom was a monopoly uh, were having a good monopoly at that time still they have the monopoly because they were supplying it to europe now they are supplying it to india or china they are supplying to other world because the necessity is demand is, somebody says green energy this hydrogen energy it is not going to work out in 20 years now or 38 years still the demand will rise by 3% so how you will decrease if you make hydrogen very popular green energy biomass ethanol everything and even the solar nobody has talked about you the solar everybody is a cop 28 everybody is talking about the solar how if entire sahara desert will be covered with the solar it will give africa entire free electricity but the sahara desert is covered with the solar panel then imagine imagine which is taking potential imagine entire uh, ecosystem is taking dust from this sahara desert so amazon will turn uh, desert so the, the, there is a climate problem to you know you kill one one side climate to kill another side climate 
So it is not going to work out like this. It has to be implemented. Uh, the people like you should open up for the good businessmen to say something so that the COP28 people, those who are the business, uh, you know, BA pass, uh, uh, Bachelor of Arts, or uh, uh, some kind of uh, uh, degree holders, those who are uh, politicians, they should understand. It is not that way easy. It is not. And who is take the garbage? The waste of solar also. If you take every, the earth's uh, situation will uh, deteriorate. If you take every bit of uh, light to be used for the, so there is always, and, uh, and uh, there is no substitute for LNG. There is no substitute for crude oil. You can minimize it. You have to make a research and development how to, uh, you know, reduce carbon emission from the car when it starts. So these things have to be, battery is not a solution for the carbon emission. Right, sir. No, these are the uh, ground realities. These are the hard facts. I totally agree with you and that's why we love to have you with us, Dr. Ajay, because you tell us the ground reality. Sir, now we are going through another war. Is Israel-Hamas war impacting oil market across the world as well as in India? Sir, uh, first and foremost thing, if I support Palestine, then I have the right to uh, say Hamas is a terrorist. Of course, it, they are. I support uh, Palestinian. I support Palestine. Yeah. But I have the full right to reject the rights of Hamas. There is no Hamas kind of thing. Hamas is a terrorist. Of, of course, day. Hamas is a terrorist. And in my very clear view, uh, Israel has a right to defend herself. Right to defend is another thing, but uh, somebody wants to, uh, you know, support Palestine, then he must, they should must condemn Hamas. Oh, absolutely, uh, absolutely. Your uh, question, Israel-Hamas war has had limited impact on oil uh, prices, limited, because uh, Saudi didn't play it well in the, to this chapter. Saudi said, I'm not interested because they are developing. See, Saudi, nobody understands what is the problem of Saudi Arabia, Dubai. United Arab Emirates, they have one fold economy. At least Dubai has two fold economy trade supply and uh, oil supply. Saudi has single uh, fold economy. If they will destroy their economy going into the war, it's not going to be good for them. It is not. It is not single fold economy. If uh, suddenly somebody says, okay, there is a, always turbulence with the Saudi Arabia and we'll find our own oil system. And Saudi, where the Saudi will go? This war is not going to help Saudi, and that is why Saudi has not played a bigger role into it. Saudi could have stopped this war in one hour, in one hour. But Saudi knew what Hamas has done. Hamas is not a government. Palestine is a government. Hamas has done severe damage by killing innocent people, which has been described. We have seen also. So this 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 this, oil, this this is not good, and that is why entire IOC members were not agreeing to Qatar also, and Qatar found a special way by saying threatening to the world that uh, Qatar will not uh, produce LNG. If the Qatar will not produce LNG, who will produce LNG? Qatar's hum, uh, uh, Qatar will never do human rights violation. Never. I know the Qatar uh, uh, family, the rulers, they will not do such act. Because LNG is the light of life. It is not business. You give them money, you buy it, but this is not money you are giving to Qatar or Saudi Arabia. When I say a petroleum products is light of uh, it is not for the solace, it means a lot. Petroleum products are not for solace. It's truly the light of life. Whatever we wear, we see the eye lenses, retina lenses, even the surgery equipment, everything is hydrocarbon. So how can you deny Saudi is uh, Saudi will violate a human right violation for the Hamas? If Saudi will not produce vitamin, Saudi will not produce hydrocarbon. Who will produce? Who will produce? So IOC has not declared war against Israel, and that was the reason that the war did not es escalate. And the Israel Hamas war has not had a limited impact on oil prices in India thus far. However, it has contributed to uh, contributed, uh, you know, destabilizing of the global oil production, influencing uh, world oil prices with Indian importing approximately uh, 1.6 billion barrels of oil annually and exports expresses concerns. Uh, many exports. I, I have friends. So there were, uh, you know, ex uh, concerns about potential increase in import cost. Uh, 
uh, impacting commodity and food stock prices because uh, we uh, we transport uh, with our cars because uh, still the diesel is our main fuel in transportation so these things uh, may come into uh, our situation but india is particularly susceptible about uh, supply disruption in crude oil prices because under india has found out two or three alternatives due to escalating conflict notably the price of indian crude oil basket rose to uh, $85 uh, but uh, it has made an average one it is all is still almost uh, 85 is still almost for indian basket is uh, uh, 12 or 15 dollars extra extra so you can say it should uh, it should go less the war could not have escalated around 66 67 68 up to 70 india can afford uh, by balancing each side production uh, and uh, refining but uh, above that, uh, always it gives a hurt to uh, uh, the Indian economy. And um, um, I'll not say that it is not going to hurt the Indian economy. It will hurt because uh, 93 barrel in October was again a high. Uh, for me, it was a high because it is going to uh, uh, disrupt our prime minister to make some uh, check and balances in the fiscal deficit. So most probably I'm not happy with that. And. Uh, uh, Coming to another situations like uh, uh, you know Israel Hamas conflict continues. In fact, if it is not regularized now, it is coming down. And one of the most and finest thing is Iran has not implemented into it. Iran threatened too many times, but Iran has not engaged into the war. And that was the finest of the finest thing Iran did. One of the finest moment. Otherwise, Asian market could have gone down. One line from Iran, one column of army from Iran means, uh, you know, India is a, uh, now the highest population into the world. It could have destabilized India. Iran, it is Iran's mercy that he, uh, it has not escalated the war. It is not Qatar. It is not Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia silent was uh, too good understood Nebel. But Iran's not engaging into the war quite impressive. I totally understand that Hamas terrorist act on October 7th was absolutely derail potential deal between Saudi Arabia and Israel because Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, I was there a month ago and I always realized and I always had my take on it that uh, those progressing nations, uh, Dr. Ajay, uh, either it's UAE, um, even Qatar, Bahrain, uh, Saudi Arabia, they are not interested in any kind of a, a war in that region. They are, they are developing, they are going forward, they are progressing. Uh, so I, I totally agree with you. Uh, Hamas ki jo terrorism hai, isko kya aap dekhte hai ke Saudi Arabi pasan nahi karta? Uh, GCC ka country nahi karta. Uh, any developed, see, Saudi Arabia is a developed country. Yeah. Dubai, UAE is a developed country. They will not get into any kind of, uh, uh, any kind of, uh, and India also uh, should understand we should not go with the religion. The constitution makes a supreme to us. They have also a constitution. You can say there is a country with, which is ruled by a ruler. But they have a constitution, they have the law and order situation, they have uh, every uh, thing uh, like, uh, 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 you know, democracy. So they will not engage these kind of things into their country. So donation is another, jakat, jakat is another thing. They can make a good donation to anything. And that is why Hamas leaders are uh, having a luxury life. Uh, but the people in Hamas, they are crying foul uh, for uh, charity. Why the Hamas leaders have four billion dollars each? They are not putting their money to uh, the people for the food and other supplies. Even if they are doing, they are not doing it uh, uh, sincerely. Still, uh, Saudi Arabia is helping, UAE is helping, other countries are. Egypt is helping. Every country is helping, but nobody wants war now. War, war chapter is over. War chapter last was uh, uh, Ukraine invasion. This is the last one. If South China Sea escalates. That will be a damaging thing. And still, I'm again having said that Hamas thing, I'm still saying you very correctly, Iran has saved everyone without not engaging into the war. If Iran would have engaged into it, it would have been a different scenario at this moment. Europe and India 
and everywhere. Europe and India would have suffered bad, worse than anything. Worse than anything. One column of army from Iran would have damaged the situation like hell. Hell. And Saudi Arabia is keeping patience, Qatar is keeping patience, UAE keeping patience. This is the, you know, this is what it means. They are very, very matured now. It shows that the, the rulers are envious. Whatever people say, I don't want to uh, go on. But MBS looks a very handsome man, very progressive man, giving rights to people, more rights to people. Why anyone will go into the war? What is the need? What is the, this jihad means? This kind of jihad, we are the, killing the people. Gandhian jihad is the best jihad. Go and surrender to the uh, opposite side. Tell them, kill me if you want to. The Gandhi jihad was the only jihad which is needed at this moment in Middle East. They should surrender. Nobody can kill an unarmed man. When you kill an unarmed man, the world will come to you to protect you. The world. Nobody has come to protect Hamas. No one. I have not seen anyone. No army column has been deployed. Not the Saudi Arabia, not the Syria, not the anyone. Nearby countries. Not anyone. Nobody has gone to, uh, you know, threaten Israel or kill Israelis or anywhere. Because uh, jihad is the Gandhian jihad. Gandhi's jihad was the two, uh, one of the best. I'm proud of uh, uh, Mohammed bin Salman, the ruler of uh, Saudi Arabia, UAE uh, ruler, president and vice president. They were too good. They have kept, kept ultimate patience. Ultimate. Still, I'm thankful to the Iranians. Iran government was too aggressive. It could have made a word into a different drama. This war has not escalated. This war has not gone too far. This war has not impacted the economy and the capital because of the Iranians. Iranian government, whatever they are, you may be opposite side or this side or that side, but keeping patience is the biggest thing. They have kept patience. They have kept very much patience. They have said whatever they want to say politically, and that is their right. They're right. This is full right. Everybody has the full right to speak. Today, I spoke about the politics. Hardly I spoke to speak about the politics. <laughs> but I spoke. I spoke after uh, 25, 26 years. Because in the college, I spoke about the politics. But today, I spoke. This is the first channel, viewers. I spoke about the politics. I never spoke about politics anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. So thank you so much. No, you really promote really appreciate uh, um, so um, um, let's conclude our talk bjp looks like making another government in 2024 what would be the future of indian economy onwards sir very best thing is uh, you should have asked the question manmohan singh is was best or the pm narendra modi so manmohan singh was uh, uh, an einstein of economics yeah. And uh, Prime Minister Modi is a force. If he says buffalo is white, you get the buffalo white. You, you understood it well. If Prime Minister Modi says buffalo is white, he get you the white buffalo. This is the force. And that is why he won the election. Uh, this is a three-state election, the cow belt or cow dung belt. Because he was with the people. But see, without cutting down others, he is doing his best. He is not saying don't vote for, uh, ask, uh, uh, he, he should not stay. But he is saying, you vote for me at least. He is asking one community to vote. But he is not saying other community not to vote. Like he said, Israel has the right to re uh, uh, rebut. But at the same day, I, I, I told you the last, last to last when I talked to you that Prime Minister didn't say anything against Palestinians. Our Prime Minister never has not said a single word against the government of Palestine. But the pure, you know, media took it in a different way. That uh, India is with Israel. India, India has given Israel a, 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 sovereign, a sovereign platform, right to defend. But that doesn't make sense for uh, that uh, India is against Palestinians. Prime Minister has not said it. The similar thing is in the politics. The Prime Minister will continue. I think uh, you can quote to your viewers. Maybe he will break the record of earlier 404 seats. He may take 414 seats. 
uh, in 2024 election, most likely. If the Congress will not improve their people, then for one four seat, you will see the benchmark by this prime minister. And the economy will, will go accordingly because the sentiment, uh, business sentiment is with him. Nowadays, business sentiment is with him. And after this election, last election, uh, the business sentiment is truly going uh, in his support. Nobody can deny this fact. Uh, the people were waiting he, what he does into these three uh, three states, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, and uh, Madhya Pradesh. He did the best. He performed the best. He did not. He performed. Rahul Gandhi was, you know, practically too good. Sound politicians, young, energetic. The people he has chosen is rough. Those who can abuse the Indian gods into the public forum, see silently, somebody is doing in their bedroom, uh, nobody can ask, and I have no right to ask. But into the public platform, nobody should say all these things into the public. I have seen it, I've talked to my brother, and they've said, uh, why they lost the election? This was the only reason. And under Prime Minister leadership, uh, Narendra Modi, you know 2024 is going to be um, most likely it is going to be one-sided game. Most likely it is one-sided game. Uh, very much one-sided. Very much one-sided in Hindi belt. Hindi speaking belt. Uh, now I'll not use cow dung belt, but now it is Hindi speaking belt. So Hindi speaking belt will go with him most promisingly. Somehow to give him a majority number. And uh, the sentiment will flow to Kanyakumari. He will Unfortunately or fortunately, you will see something in uh, South also where he has no good presence. Suddenly, he will come up. So this man is like this. He will win the seat in Kerala also. Most likely, he will see, see win at least one seat in Kerala also. Make a presence. Because see, he is not saying uh, anti any religion. He is saying Hindus are my hai. I am saying that Ram is my hai, so I have never said that Islam is my hai. I can't say that. Someone has said that, someone has said that, Hindu has said that. I am a Janavdhari, Brahman. I can't say that Islam is bad. I have no idea. But I can say this. Lord Ram is good. This is my rights. Now, you can't take these rights. Lord Ram is good. I have said that I am bad, but I can't say that. I can't say that. At least, I can't say that. Why is it so bad? Similar is the situation. India may look jump anti Modi or anti BJP Huna Chatena anti Indian Hone Ragate problem ye baseline cross Karneki Jabbi political parties jo Mana Apko Pahlebika Congress is the mother of democracy in India as a Nia Uske Bina India Nichal Sakta. Then whose mother of democracy may it ne false and default song or fault line of yin ye new Sakta. Ye Padlanda. और ये पहले से चला आ रहा है इसको खत्म करना पड़ेगा ना और वो जीत जाएंगे अगर वो ये खत्म करेंगे तो फॉर यू एंड फॉर मी एनी गवर्नमेंट कम्स इज अ गुड गवर्नमेंट फॉर मी एट लीस्ट एनी गवर्नमेंट इज फॉर्म्ड बिकॉज़ एवरी गवर्नमेंट हैज अ मैंडेट सो वी रिस्पेक्ट द मैंडेट ऑफ द पीपल एंड पीपल शुड नॉट गो विद माय वॉइसेस दे शुड चूज द बेस्ट लीडर एंड आई फॉर फॉर मोस्ट थिंग आई एम नॉट द सपोर्टर ऑफ प्राइम मिनिस्टर और और इनवेडर फॉर राहुल गांधी don't take it this way. And uh, Tahir Gorasar also doesn't support this kind of uh, fractionalism. Use your mind. Every viewer should please. This was a discussion and this was politically. He elevated me today to speak after 27 years. So it's good. He has got the chance and he has the, he is a journalist who can do me something uh, which I was not expecting. <laughs> so he made it. All the question was related to somewhere with the politics all today. So thank you so much. Anything yeah. else was that? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Dr. Ajay Kumar. I'm very happy that you have been very happy that you have been talking about the heart of your heart, about the politics, the Indian economy, the oil market, the international issues, uh, all those uh, complex and sensitive issues. Pe, aapne mein आज अपनी ओपिनियन दी हम उम्मीद करते हैं कि आने वाले दिनों में आप हमें ज़्यादा वक्त दिया करेंगे तो इतना लंबा गैप नहीं आना चाहिए आपके ओपिनियन आने वाले दिनों में कम गैप के साथ लेंगे बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू एवरीवन
थैंक यू थैंक यू आपने बात ये सुनी डॉक्टर अजय कुमार साहब की डॉक्टर अजय हमारे शोज में पहले भी आ चुके हैं हम इनको आने वाले दिनों में आ, फिर आ, इनको इनवाइट करेंगे हम चाहते हैं कि इस बहुत ही कॉम्प्लेक्स इश्यूज पे यानी दुनिया की जो ऑयल मार्केट है उसके साथ साथ जो जनरल ओवरऑल इकॉनमी है इसके हवाले से हम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार की राय लेते रहें आज की बातचीत मेरे साथ और डॉक्टर अजय कुमार जी के साथ देखने सुनने का बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आप टैग टीवी के यूट्यूब चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए और इसी चैनल के डोनेट के बटन को क्लिक करके आप हमें कंट्रीब्यूट भी कर सकते हैं इसके साथ साथ आप टैग टीवी की एप्स एंड्रॉयड एप्पल रॉको एमेजोन पर डाउनलोड कीजिए यू कैन वॉच टैग टी न्यूज व्यूज एंड एंटरटेनमेंट ट्वेंटी फोर थ्रू आर एप्स Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.